This is a demonstration of uh, my antenna tracker. So what I have here is uh, an Eagle Tree uh, FPV antenna tracker uh, that I bought from ReadyMade RC. Um, it's got a couple of servos on it, a uh, yaw servo and a pitch servo, which are being controlled by a Pixhawk, which I have right here. Uh, the Pixhawk um, is connected to a 3DR radio, uh, which is connected to an 8 dB um, patch antenna, so not a very not a very high DB uh, antenna, but you know, not bad. Um, it's got a, a, an old style uh, 3DR GPS here without the uh, compass attached. Luckily we don't use that. Um, it is being powered by a 3S 1200 milliamp lipo battery, which is here. Um, there's a USB connection coming out of the Pixhawk, uh, which is um, connected to my laptop here, which is an Ubuntu uh, running AP Planner 2. Uh, you can also use a Windows machine with the uh, Mission Planner, of course. Uh, so out on the lawn there, I have my uh, Iris. Um, and um, I guess what we're going to do in this uh, quick demonstration is just, you know, put the Iris up in the air, move it back and forth, and show that the uh, antenna tracker is working. So the software is a little bit green, but um, it is getting there. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, because it's a Pixhawk, is just push the little safety switch, which I've got here, uh, to enable servos. It freaks out a little bit. Um, I've got some iTerm buildup or something like that, um, but it uh, figures itself out in a minute, and you'll see it points back at the, at the vehicle. Okay. All right. Looks like it's still slowly pointing down. Okay. There we go. So now I will. Uh, Arm. Uh, this is in uh, stabilized mode. Maybe I'll put it straight into loiter though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's the thing. You can see that this guy has pointed himself off a bit. Uh, now I'll just move the vehicle over to the right. You can see the antenna tracker has moved off to the right, pointing off to it there. Bring the iris back to the left. You can see the antenna tracker follows it. I go up. It's probably out of frame, but. Oh, there, it's in frame. You can see the antenna tracker is. There we are. That is just in frame, I guess. Move over to the right. Tractors following it around. So, there you go. Now, of course, uh, the real question is how much um, additional uh, range do I get out of my 3R radio by doing this? Uh, that is one of the uh, tests that I'll do next.